Hello everyone and welcome to my advanced bees tutorial. I just wanted to share some of the knowledge that I have gained over this last little while of the various techniques I'm using in my bee breeding and some of the more complicated uh, mathematical concepts required for getting the best results out of your apiaries and out of your alvearies in terms of getting the bees you want, getting the right mutations and getting the maximum productivity. So I just want to start quickly by uh, showing you all the frames that are in Minecraft at the moment. This is the untreated frame, it's the easiest to make. Its recipe is just sticks it around a string and as such it has a low durability but it doubles the production chance. This is the impregnated frame, it does the same as the untreated frame except its durability is three times as much. And it is made with these impregnated sticks, which are extremely expensive. They require one log each and some seed oil. So impregnated frames are really, first of all, you're not going to produce them straight away, but also um, they're quite expensive but they are needed to produce the chocolate frame and the soul frame which you will want and some of these other frames as well which in my opinion you don't want um, but because you need chocolate frames and soul frames in my opinion um, impregnated frames are good for that so you will need to produce some of them then we have the chocolate frame the chocolate frame also increases the chance of producing a comb for the bees but the most important thing about the chocolate frame is that it reduces the lifespan by half. So two of them means the lifespan is one quarter. Four of them means the lifespan is one sixteenth. So you can greatly reduce the lifespan of your bees and therefore make your bee breeding a lot faster. So that's what the chocolate frame is for. The soul frame is good um, near the start of the game as well. When you're trying to get your mutations, the soul frame increases the mutation chance by 1.5 times. So if the mutation chance was 10%, it will be 15% with one soul frame and 22.5% uh, like with two and so on, right? So the effects also stack. And as you can see, it's made with an impregnated frame and soul sand. Then we have the proven frame. There is no crafting recipe for this you can buy these from the apiarist villagers and in my opinion this is by far the best frame to use for regular production the other possibility is to use the untreated frame which is as I said much less expensive than the impregnated frame um, but the, the one thing about that is that you would really need some sort of automated production facility for making these all the time because even if you had an entire um, quantum barrel full of these, um, it would be used up fairly quickly with a normal uh, alveary setup, so these proven frames last nine times longer, which means that you can leave them be for a while. The restraint frame is, again, in my opinion, this frame does not really have a, a use. It's, it's, you can make it and it, it does stuff, but it's kind of pointless, because um, it will decrease the production chance, it reduces it to 0.75 of whatever it was. Um, it also reduces the lifetime, which doesn't matter one way or the other, um, and it reduces the territory. So that's its main point. Its main idea is that it reduces the territory of the bees. Um, I really don't know how useful that is. I mean, maybe if you had some bee that's going to produce lightning or produce a fire effect that might be when you would want to use a restraint frame but really why not just put it somewhere where it doesn't matter or just move it further away or something like that then we have the Nova frame this is a frame that's available only in creative mode and this reduces the lifespan to 0 0.1 percent so 0 0.0001 of whatever it was so it basically makes any bee, bee um, have a life tick of only one lifetime one alveolar tick. Then we have the healing frame. The healing frame, um, again, this doesn't seem very useful to me. You can make it with clay and an impregnated frame. And what it does is it makes the lifetime of the bees longer. 
and I'll explain a little bit later on why I don't think it's there's any real point to increasing the lifetime of bees but you can do that if you really want to with this healing frame the other thing the healing frame does is it gives you a production uh, decrease and um, it it's also drastically reduces the chance of the bees mutating so if you really don't want your bees to mutate then the healing frames for you now we come to the uh, the frames added by thormic bees first of all is the magic frame which is the frame that's used to make some of these other ones I'm not sure exactly which because I again I haven't looked into this too much because I think that they're mostly pointless the magic free frame has the same durability as an impregnated frame but it costs a lot less so that might be a good idea uh, one of the downsides though is that it consumes V so it'll increase the flux in your area and it, it will gradually siphon V out of your aura so again that's kind of a big downside unless you have some crystal clusters going or as I will show you later there's a good way of counteracting that but um, yeah again I think that there's really not much use for this one the resilient frame is the highest durability frame it has the same effect as the untreated frame impregnated frame chocolate uh, not chocolate frame um, proven frame in that it doubles the productivity but its durability is um, a lot higher it has a du total durability of 84T and each life tick of the bees reduces the frames durability by 5 so it's 840 over 5 which is mm, let's see 168 mm, a lot of life ticks 168 life ticks I think then we have the gentle frame the gentle frame will, um, I think it sucks up some aura again. Oh yeah, the resilient frame also um, sucks up your aura. Um, the gentle frame uh, increases the production chance by 40%, so 1.4 times whatever it was before. The mutation chance is reduced and the lifetime is increased. So it has a similar function to this healing frame, except that it consumes a bit of aura. The metabolic frame will increase the chance of production slightly and it greatly increases the mutation chance so that's kind of useful I guess um, of all of these frames uh, the metabolic frame is probably the most useful uh, if you're early game and you don't have alveares yet if you just got apiaries and you need to make your mutations the metabolic frame increases the chance of mutation more than a soul frame so instead of being 1.5 times it's actually 1.8 times which because um, it's multiplicative, that is exponential. 3 times 1.8 would be whatever it is. It's a lot more than 3 times 1.5. So there is a possible use for the metabolic frame. The necrotic frame is like a chocolate frame, only more so. It kills your bees even faster. Um, the temporal frame, uh, let's see, the temporal frame makes their lifetime really really long it doesn't change anything about the production or the mutation or anything like that so again I really don't see what the point of that is maybe if you want to use the effects like uh, some bees will give you regen or some bees will give you uh, XP so you can increase their lifetime that way but again I really don't see much point based on uh, the stuff that we're going to go into very soon the Oblivion frame is exactly the same as a Nova frame, except that you can find it in some dungeon chests, and its durability is a lot less. So, um, it will basically give you a one tick uh, breeding cycle, which is 27.5 seconds. That's an Alviary tick. Not a game tick. An Alviary tick is 550 game ticks, which is 27.5 seconds. So, this guy, if you can find one, good for you, put it in alve alveary or an apiary and that will give you your bees in one shot instead of having to put a bunch of chocolate frames. That is pretty much it for these frames. Again, the ones I would highlight as the ones that you might be use uh, that might be useful to you are the untraded frame, which is good for your mass production as long as you can keep producing it. The proven frame, which again is good for your mass production um, as long as you can keep buying it. It costs um, 
one emerald for six. The soul frame, which is good early game when you're trying to do your mutations. The chocolate frame, which is good throughout the game when you're doing mutations and when you're cycling bees to produce uh, the species that you want. It will greatly reduce the life time of the bees, so that reduces the amount of time that you're going to spend breeding. The impregnated frame, which is used to make the soul frame and the chocolate frame. Um, and that's pretty much it, although we could possibly add the metabolic frame uh, if you can research it and we, if you can be bothered to make it. Although, to be honest, really, the soul frame is fine. So that's it for frames. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.